What's good guys? Cool 200 here. Back with another video. This is the Gen uh, 5 160 or 124 scale die cast review with the exception of that pitch black car, uh, the 19 that is sitting um, to the very left. I mentioned this before. I forgot it. It was under my bed. I uh, just completely forgot I had the, the car and uh, yeah. So now it's going to be mixed in. That's my bad. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, just a little mishap is all. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into this before the box gets warped as hell. So the first one we are going to start with is probably that uh, um, Jeremy Mayfield. Um, we're just going to kind of go in order with the cars here as I carefully... Uh, move everyone. By the way, that is going to be the thumbnail, uh, so that you will not see all these cars on this box again, because it's actually pretty hard to set these up on here. Not going to lie, so. Alright, now that I got those out of the way anyways, here is the 19 car. And before we even get into the die cast, I always do this. Here is the package that it came in, or the box that it came in. Don't ask why I said it so weirdly, but here it is. You got Mountain Dew Pitch Black number two, by the way. Someone mentioned about the lighting. I actually have fixed it, sort of. I got my trusty uh, phone with flashlight, so hopefully the lighting is more um, better. Because, see, without the flashlight, I guess it would be pretty dark. Um, I've got all the lights on in my room except my closet light, but my closet light does absolutely nothing. So, hopefully this works for you guys, and uh, if it does, I'll keep doing this. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue. We got Jeremy Mayfield here, Action, Everham Motorsports. Um, right here you got 19, Jeremy Mayfield, Action, Everham Motorsports. Mountain Dew Pitch Black, there is the other side. And over here you have Jeremy Mayfield. <clears throat> Number 19, uh, Mountain Dew slash Pitch Black, 2005 Charger, and a total production of 5,124. So, yeah, 2005. Uh, my bad that I didn't get this one reviewed in the first place, but I guess it's okay because you're getting it now. So here it is anyways. And uh, right away on the front here, you have the beautiful Charger. Um... You got like this um, spider web thing going on here. You got uh, see your local Dodge dealers, Dodge, Mountain Dew, Pitch Black. Um, the hood does pop open here, and under it is Wix. That's pretty much it. Um, then over here you got the 19 uh, in green with the purple. You got more webbing. That's right here. You got Stanley with the nice little. Tape measure, you got Dodge, uh, Mopar, Mountain Dew Pitch Black, UAW, not sure what that is. Got some gray that's going on here, it goes from the, I guess from the whole front. Back here, you got more here, and yeah. Don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Um, you do have both opening roof flaps. Um, just take my word for the, that they, they open. There we go. Over here, you got see your local Dodge dealer, uh, Mountain Dew Pitch Black on both sides. Uh, you have Sore Bite under the 19 here. And you have Simons on the uh, taillight here. And on the top, you have A, a uh, UAW, Daimler, or Daimler, I don't know, Chrysler National Training Center. And the other side, by the way, yes. The uh, deck lid does open. So that is Jeremy Mayfield's number 19 before he was kicked out after all that controversy. And then they, they have, no, that was after. I was going to say then they added Casey Atwood, but no, they added Elliot Sadler after that. So, and yeah. Alrighty, moving on. We have, uh, I don't know. Let's go with Denny Hamlin and his, you guessed it, number 11 FedEx Kiko's car, or however you say it. You guys may have seen this car before in the 164 scale version, 
Uh, that was the NASCAR Diecast 2007 review. 22 of you have seen it, so... Uh, yeah, here's the car again at 160, or 124, excuse me. Let's go ahead and look at the box here. I won't go over this car too much because, well, it's the exact same. But the package is not. Here is the packaging for it. Got FedEx key codes over here with the weird little FedEx play button. Got the car. Uh, Denny Hamlin, number 11, Motorsport Authentics. Up here, you got Joe Gibbs Racing, number 11, Denny Hamlin for the car. FedEx key codes office and printer center 124 scale stock car limited edition double collectible driver select and over here you have 07 Denny Hamlin number 11 FedEx Kikos 2007 Impala SS COT car tomorrow and COT right there for car of tomorrow uh, the first year not the first full year but the first year they ran the car of tomorrow so that's pretty cool here is the car anyways. You have the FedEx uh, play button. Um, you have the blue line going all the way around the car. Um, obviously you can see the, uh, the hood pops open. Just gotta figure out a way. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got the FedEx play button under there, yes. This is one of those that it goes all the way on the windshield. Um, I actually really like that because you get like, um, kind of like, a, you know, how high do you want it? You know, you get you get that option. You can have it like here, you can have it here, you can have it up here, you can have it like it's racked. I mean, you know, you can have it all kinds of ways. So, yeah, they don't open like they used to. Then you got the number 11 outlined in blue. Got that line going all the way across. Fax Kiko's office and printer. Uh, some little sponsors there. Back here, you got FedEx.com. Again, blue line all the way across. I know I said I wouldn't go full in depth, but I am um, opening deck lid. Um, come on. Come on. You do have opening roof laps. You guys can't tell. Come on. I feel like this... There we go. You guys saw it open, right? Just take my word they open. <laughs> Please, and there's your other side. Just take my word that they open. I don't know why. But they're being very much... Uh, I had this one open, but... That's great. Let's just move on to that extra car. Um... And that would be the teammate of Denny Hamlin's. That is J.J. Yaley. Not Kyle Busch, but J.J. Yaley. And the number 18 Interstate Batteries car. Uh, so in 2004 or 5, Bobby Labonte decided to step away from Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, they decided to part ways, and he would go to, I think, the 43... If I'm not mistaken, I think that's where he went next. And the man to replace him was J.J. Yaley. Many to consider a NASCAR bust. Now, personally, I am a fan of J.J. Yaley uh, since he was in the 36, which was in 2013. So, I figured out a little bit of his background and I see why and how he was a NASCAR bust. Uh, it's very unfortunate. He just another driver that really wasn't ready um, for the cup level and uh, really didn't do anything to, this is painful to say, but to, to, to get his ride into Joe Gibbs. And being in Joe Gibbs equipment, you're, you know, you're supposed to win races. It is a must. And unfortunately, J.J. Yaley could just not get that done. And I think the best finish he had was in 2006 or 7. Uh, he finished second, I believe, in the Coca-Cola 600. So, yeah. Well, we'll take a look at that car here in a minute and uh, find out why I'm actually really mad about this uh, die cast. Uh, first, here's the lovely box. You got the car, Interstate Batteries, J.J. Yaley, number 18, more Sport Authentics. 
Uh, back here, you have Joe Gibbs Racing, number 18, KJ Yaley, the car, and interstate batteries. And back here, you have 07, JJ Yaley, um, number 18, interstate batteries, 2007, Impala SS, the OT, and the DIN code. Uh, yes, this is the signature series. Uh, so, yeah, by the way, I'm not showing this side because this is all it says on all of them, so, yeah. So, we'll get into why I'm mad about it when we get to the back here. Uh, but first, here is the car. Uh, kind of a boring interstate uh, car, in my opinion. But I'm really used to the Kyle Busch one uh, since 2014, where he's got like the zebra stripes, so, I don't know. A lot of people actually prefer this paint scheme, but, eh, whatever. You got the interstate batteries logo here with a lot of like lightning bolts as like I guess the charge for interstate batteries you got a signature up here JJ Yaley look at that I bought it like this I did not go have it personally signed although that would be kind of cool but uh, yeah there you go then on this side hmm, the wheel seems like it's kind of bad I don't know they move they're good they do move so you got the 18, lots of electricity bolts going through, uh, bank whip, interstate batteries, Wix, DLP, nothing on the deck lid except some more lightning bolts in back here. You have interstate batteries, lots of electricity, and this is why I'm mad at it. You see the deck lid opens and closes, but, and I bought it like this, the wing comes off. It was not mentioned in, uh, in the description when I bought it from eBay. This is not eBay's fault. This is the seller's fault. Unfortunately, I do not remember the seller's name or else I would definitely say it here on YouTube and uh, kind of expose him. But uh, yeah, a broken wing. I was kind of pissed off because uh, I think I paid like 50 bucks for this. Although 50 bucks isn't bad for a signature series, um, this is why it was so cheap. I didn't know that. I thought they were just, you know, actually, I had a bid, it was a bidding war for this. Um, and, uh, yeah, looks like I'm the loser here. No one ever won. Uh, but I still got a nice piece of die cast, and there's the other side, by the way. It's, it's still a nice die cast, but that broken wing definitely takes away from the coolness of it. And, uh, I, I was really excited. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's signed. I don't like the signed cars. I don't know why. I know they're worth more and stuff, but I just, I don't know. I'm not a big person on the si signature stuff, but this one I thought was really cool. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a JJ Yaley, a COT. I bought one in 164, but I get one in 124, so I'm happy with it. It comes, and I just figure out, wow. And it, it wasn't even placed on the car to make it look like it stayed. It was literally laying in the box, not on the car. So, yeah. By the way, the roof flaps do open, I think. That one's actually a little stuck. Um, there you go. Uh, that one's a bit stuck. I didn't even show you the roof. I wanted to get to the, the wing so bad, or the hood. I wanted to get to the wing so bad. Um, there it goes. I want to see, I actually haven't seen what's under. I don't think I've seen what's under here. Come on. This is why he cuts. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Bear with me here. Just for a few seconds. I mean, you could skip through the video as much as you want, but there it is. Just says interstate batteries. That's all. Alright, moving on. Um, because I am kind of pissed off looking at that car right now. Which is unfortunate, but not my fault. So let's go ahead and move on to Jeff Gordon's 2007. Uh, DuPont car. Such a beautiful paint scheme. What do I need to say about this? DuPont. DuPont. So, you got the regular Jeff Gordon flames. You got some blue kind of showing here. DuPont. Chevy Impala. Please. Oh, that opened nicely. You got big DuPont logo in there you guys can see and then over here once again you got the Jeff Gordon flames Pepsi GMAC DuPont Necroet or Necro Eddie I don't know how you pronounce it 
um, what does that say? Sparkly. That's pretty cool. Um, got flames on the roof. You guys can see roof flaps. Both deploy nice and easy. DuPont automotive finishes. Got some flames on the back here. Deck lid opens. On the deck lid it says DuPont. And there is the other side. Unfortunately, yes, these wings do actually break off quite easily. So maybe it broke off during shipping with the JJLA. I did want to mention that. But it, it's hard to say because these things come in such protective casing. Um, it, it's They don't move around a lot. And I would hope that the USPS takes care of the packages. But, you know, some USP, you know, some post offices just don't care. So, I don't know. All the other cars have came to me perfect. So, I'd like to believe that it was the, the shipper or the buyer or the seller or whatever. It was the seller. That's what I want to say. Anyways, I start what we looking at. Oh, I didn't even look at the box for Jeff Gordon, did I? You guys are probably wondering right now. Uh, the box, dot, dot, dot. Here's the box. You have... The 24 DuPont um, motors, 24 Hendrick Motorsports, 24 Jeff Gordon. There's the car, DuPont motors, 07 Jeff Gordon, number 24 DuPont, 2007 Impala SSCOT. There's the box. Now, like I was saying, let's get on to the Juan Pablo Montoya. And uh, let's go ahead and go with the box first. You got the Havoline, Texaco Havoline, got the car here, 42 Juan Pablo Montoya, um, Texaco Havoline, Chip Ganassi Racing, uh, 42 Juan Pablo Montoya, car, Havoline, and the other side, and then over here you have 07 COT, Juan Pablo Montoya, number 42, Texaco, 2007 Avenger, what does that, oh, Dodge Avenger, okay. Never heard of that, and then the DIN code. I've never heard of an Avenger. That's weird. And I do have the 2008 Halvaline, uh Texaco car, but in 164, so this one's kind of different. Kind of is a rookie year. But anyways, here it is. I was thinking it was matte, but it's actually gloss, which actually looks really nice. Looks really nice. You got this red kind of going here. Uh, I was going to say a different shade of black, but it's really not. Uh, you got the Texaco Havoline logo on there, along with the underneath the hood uh, on this side. Yeah, see, it's this is like a matte black. This right here is a matte black. I know you guys can't see it very well, but this is kind of a matte black. Uh, opposed to the rest of it being gloss, you can actually feel it in the texture. I know you guys can't, but I can. Then you got the uh, Texaco Havoline logo, uh, Wrigley's Big Red. Uh, you actually have a logo right here. You got the uh, Havoline uh, logo right here. That's cool. And yes, it does have opposable working roof flaps. That's cool. Back here, you have Havoline uh, and the rookie stripes. And then back here, you have Express Lube and the other side. So that is Juan Pablo Montoya's rookie car. Excuse me. I do not do that that often. I am sorry. Whew. Okay. I really wish I could cut right there. Wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, never happened. Anyways, that is one Paula Montoya's rookie car. Uh, C-O-T. Let's go ahead and move on. But before we do, I do want to say something. On Thursday and Friday, you may have realized I did not upload. I want to tell you the reason. Because I always explain things. Reason being, Thursday, I tried to upload a video early in the morning. I had it running all night. Uh, before I went to bed, I set that up at 2 o'clock. Internet went out when I needed it the most. And it just didn't go through. It was at 39% and I couldn't wait all day because I had to leave. And I had an hour before I left. So, yeah, that was great. And then, uh, so, and then I was at my grandma's spending time with the family and just... Didn't worry about much after that, although I was kind of bored. And then on Friday, I was at my cousin's for a while, and the internet went out again. I, I was pissed off all day. I just didn't feel like doing anything. And so, yeah. 
And then Saturday, I had a double upload just to make up for those two days. So, yeah, there's my explanation. Let's move on to Kevin Harvick's number 29 pencil oil uh, shell car, though. Uh, something quite worth noting on this car here. But before we do, let's go ahead and look at the package. We got Shell and Pennzoil. We got Kevin Harvick's car here, 29 Kevin Harvick. Over here, you got RCR back when he raced for them. A blueprint of the car, which is kind of new. We got 29 Kevin Harvick. Got the regular car, Pennzoil Shell. And back here, you got 07 Kevin Harvick number 29 Shell 2007 Impala SSCOT. There's the box. The boxes are stacking up, baby. And back here, you have the, of course, Shell Pennzoil. You got the, the red, the normal red. Um, the hood does open, but there's nothing under it, which is actually weird. I did not know that. And then over here, you have Shell Pennzoil Ream. Good wrench was still on the car back in these days. Wow. A uh, real tire. Reese's 29 snap on and something on uh, tons of contingencies forgot to mention all that and Something worth noting here is that Kevin Harvick ran the number three on the car For I believe the longest time as you guys know uh, when Dale Earnhardt unfortunately had his incident and uh, Passed away um, They retired the number but Kevin Harvick still drove the same equipment Pretty much the same car, just a number change and a color paint scheme change. That was kind of it. And he always ran that number three on the car, I believe, until he left RCR, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. And he does have the Pell, the Shell and Pennzoil logos on the, um, the wing. You also have Made to Move on the deck lid, along with Pennzoil, Shell, Pennzoil on the back. And the um, deck lid does open, of course. And there is the other side, along with opening roof flaps. That one is a bit stuck. So that is Kevin Harvick's Shell Pennzoil 2007 diecast. Let's move on to Jimmy Johnson and the number uh, 48 car. Now, before we even uh, look at this car or the box, I will like to say I tried to find this car in 164 scale, and the reason being is because I'm actually trying to replace it right now. This car is ugly as heck. Wow. And so I couldn't find it, so I, this was the best bet. This was the best bet. So that is kind of my childhood replacement, although I'm still looking for the 164. But be thankful for what you have. And what I have is even better. So, yes. Here is the box, though. It's actually a lot different than the rest. Um, you got Jimmy Johnson with this beautiful background with the car. Got Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Hendrick Motorsports, 48. Very beautiful. On the top, it's even more better. Got the car racing here. Got the, I believe, the Daytona Motor Speedway, because why not? Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Hendrick Motorsports, Action. Number 48, Jimmy Johnson. Actually, have kind of what Lionel does here. You got, like, all the um, details of the car. Um, over here, you got 09, Jimmy Johnson, number 48, Jimmy Johnson Foundation, 2009 Impala. One of 948, because this is the Signature Series. Yes, sir. And there's the other side. You got Jimmy Johnson Foundation, all the licensing and crap. So there's the box. It's actually very nice. And here is the die cast. You got the beautiful blue, the light baby blue uh, with Lowe's. The beautiful uh, signature. Once again, I did not get this signed personally. This is a signature series, but that is still very cool. Over here, you have uh, more baby blue coming, coming over here. You got some white peeking out. The iconic... Uh, Greenish yellow 48, the Jimmy Johnson Foundation logo with Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Got Lowe's, www.bethmatch.org uh, is what that little dinky thing says right there. You got Lowe's on the wing, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have black kind of here. Wasn't done talking about the paint scheme. 
you got this line going right across the top here. Uh, blue roof, Jimmy Johnson foundation there. Lowe's on the back with kind of a ribbon looking thing here. Uh, trunk opens. Roof flaps both deploy quite nicely. And there's the other side. Also, it does have a, a yellow splitter. I didn't mention that, sorry. Very nice car. Hoping I can find the 164 uh, scale for it. Uh, if you know a guy or you have one that you are looking to sell, uh, please hit me up. I will take any numbers. Um, as long as it's in perfect condition and it's got a box, like any box that it came in. <laughs> Like, I don't want a cardboard box that you made or something, but I'll take what I can get. I will take what I can get. Um, but if you have one or you know a guy that has one and is looking to sell, hit me up on Twitter. Or, not Twitter. I don't use Twitter that much anymore. Hit me up on Instagram. And uh, just message me in the DMs and uh, hook me up, please. That would be... Uh, great. I will go up probably to 60 bucks for, because I know how rare this car is, for uh, this little thing that's in perfect condition and has the correct box. Thank you. That is my little rant, I guess. Anyways, the next car we're going to be looking at is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2010 diecast. But let's review the box first. It's actually nothing special. It really isn't. Uh... There is the box. Just realized I have a car missing. Uh-oh. Don't remember where... Oh, both batteries going to die too. Great. But yeah, here's the car. You got like this little sticker thing. Hendrick Motorsports, Ashton Racing, Collectibles, Still Choice Champions. You got all the Hendrick numbers there. 88, 5, 24, 48. Hendrick Motorsports over here. Once again, you have the... Um, the... Uh, blueprint of everything that's here except that wing is not correct you guys can see back here on the back of the car it's got the normal spoiler so that's incorrect you got the sticker of the car here over here it says 2010 dale earnhardt jr number 88 paint the 88 amp energy 2010 2010 impala one of 2618 very very cool um, I just realized I am completely missing a car, which probably means that it won't be, oh, that wasn't good. Oh, my boxes just fell on the cars that I had set up in the back, and it absolutely just killed them. Great. Now I'm salty as a pretzel. I just found the mouse, though. Alright, back to the diecast. I'm sorry. Getting distracted tonight. I've been distracted all day. Here's the car, anywho. Uh, for some reason, I'm having a little little trouble moving them wheels. Huh. Even Lionel back in the day couldn't keep it straight. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, here's the car. Um, up top here, you got Diet Mountain Dew. Zero calorie Dew. Uh, you got, like, this weird... Uh, the lines and then it kind of comes out with some flames got some flames here that make it kind of look mean right out of the Impala um, Grill you got this uh, regular 2010 splitter they raced that since 2007 and then over here you got the flames again uh, You got amp diet do National Guard uh, the lines coming up from the back of the 88 with the flames again all the way to the deck where it says National Guard uh, Diet Mountain Dew, more flames, the normal spoiler, and that, this is actually, and there's the other side, fun fact, this is actually the only car that I have that is the normal 2010 mold, because you know, in 2010, they switched the spoiler at the last minute from the wing to this spoiler that they raced until 2012, and then they went to the Gen 6, or the, yeah, the Gen 6, of course. But yeah, they, they changed uh, the car, and then in 2011, they got rid of this splitter. So this is actually kind of rare to see, the 2010 
a regular car, but with a regular uh, body, but still very cool. Um, so, yeah. Next car we're going to be reviewing, though, is Tony Stewart's Burger King car. Before, before, before I get it up there, here is the box. Got the sticker of the car here. Stewart Haas Racing. Uh, the only two Stuart Haas numbers that they raced in 2011 because the team was still brand new. You got the 14 and the 39 of Brian Newman and Tony Stewart. Stuart Haas Racing. Um, the, uh, um, what's it called? The blueprint of everything that goes on with the car. The sticker of the car. And 2011 Tony Stewart Burger King number 11 or number 14 Burger King. 2011 Impala, one of 2,698. Very cool, very cool. And here is said die cast. Maybe. The wheel does not at all want to move. That's crazy. Anyways, here's the die cast. And something I want to mention here, I have two of these. One is actually a very special car. That's actually going to be the next video. Um, because it is super special. It's actually what's holding up my flashlight right now. Believe it or not. But anyways, yeah, here's the car. And the normal finish. You got uh, the beautiful Burger King uh, orange right there. You got the Burger King logo. It's actually in a metal flake. Uh, you guys can kind of see the sparkles in the Burger King. Or the burger portion of the bun per portion of the logo there. Actually, it's in all the car. I just realized that you get the... You get that right right on that orange there. Okay. Okay. I see you lying out. You putting sparkle in our cars. Alright. That sounded really weird, but alright. It puts this car actually feels really good because I've not had it this is actually the first time I've had it fully out of the package, so that's cool. That Haas and Wicks right there, back when Lionel still had the uh the hood sorta of lay on the hood, but not really. Or the the uh, the windshield, but they don't want to fit back on real well. Then back here you got the non-posable wheel apparently. The flames that kind of come from the car. That makes this car pretty cool. I wanted this 164 but I couldn't find it. Don't know if they made it or not. Um, have it your way. Burger King. El Monterey. I can't read so I think that says El Monterey. Uh, Mobile One. Off Depot Mobile One. The blue or the white transitioning to the blue that's pretty cool um, again you have opening roof flaps uh, it says Burger King right there where you can really see the metal flake there that's pretty cool and then have it your way foundation for Burger King and then you got Burger King with a crown that's pretty cool um, it even sparkles on the uh, the plastic um, spoiler that's pretty that's that's putting detail into your cars. That's pretty cool. And it does open, of course. And it says Office Depot up here. I just realized that. It says Office Depot up there. Uh, it says Mobile One up there and Office Depot right there. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, there is Tony Smoke Stewart in his 2012 Burger King diecast. Right? 2011, excuse me. I am all over today. Alright, and the last car we have, I have to find it. I actually don't know. I had to hide this car, and I honestly don't know where I put it. Which probably isn't a good thing. So, oh, wait. I remember where it's at now. Hold on, guys. This will take about five seconds. Oh my gosh, why did I do this? <sighs> this is embarrassing. This has been, honestly, a horrible review. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here's the box, anywho. Got Lionel, NASCAR collectible, color chrome. So you obviously know what it is. It says color chrome appear back when they put the color chrome cars in this kind of box, which is, I think, better than their styrofoam boxes, but I also don't. Um, this is actually styrofoam box, too, with these... These are, I don't know, I think the other ones are actually more protective. I just prefer these because they open better. I don't know, either way I guess works because you can actually see the car in the new Lionel boxes. But 
Either way, it kind of works. Uh, there's the other side, pretty much says the same thing. All your Lionel lines, licensing. And here's where we get to the fun part. 2012. Danica Patrick. Yes, it's a Danica Patrick. Number 7, GoDaddy.com. 2012, palette color chrome. One of 294. So, you guys can guess, this is a uh, nationwide car. Um, back when she was at least sort of a decent driver, but not really. Um, but yes, here she is in her NASCAR bust ways. Because she is a NASCAR bust. But it's still a good looking car. Um, I actually just got this yesterday. Um, but when you're, or Saturday, I should say. Um, here's the grill, anyway. Uh, well, back when they still ran the Chevy Impalas and Nationwide Series before they went to Camaro style. Got the big bl uh, orange splitter. GoDaddy.com on the hood, of course. Unfortunately, I do not have her regular car to compare this to, but you guys can see what's color chrome. Just the Chevy emblem right there. Of course, up top it says Nationwide on the uh, window banner. Uh, you got these um, orange spikes kind of coming, and you got the black one outlined in orange coming from this side of the car. Uh, you have the um, uh, orange um, side skirt. You got the orange 7. That's pretty iconic, I guess, for Danica. You got this black stripe going across here. GoDaddy.com with the GoDaddy logo. And uh, that's black is also outlined in orange if I didn't say it. Uh, you got Tissot. I don't know how to say that. I don't care. Uh, you got some uh, opening roof flaps. I'm getting tired, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's weird that this is green and the rest of this is orange, I guess. That's kind of weird. You got GoDaddy.com. This is actually black with the color chrome green. You got GoDaddy.com right there. Opening with a nice orange uh, metal spoiler made metal for this and there's the other side so it is a beautiful color chrome car it's actually very nice uh, feels good brand new car guys I think it's actually pretty cool um, unfortunately Danica Patrick did not have the best career but yeah that was her fault so alrighty guys I'm gonna leave you off there I'm not putting up the cars or anything the thumbnails already set so this was your kind of surprise I guess um, Sorry about that. Just forgot that this car uh, was in this review. That's how forgettable Danica Patrick is. I'm sorry, Danica Patrick fans. I'm done. I'm done. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a long review. But uh, the next review will be on that other Tony Stewart car. Uh, it's already set up. So I'll uh, see you guys in that video. Peace out. What a long video.